In this Lucario review video, I'm going to be telling you everything you want to know about this AI copywriting tool specifically for marketers and digital agencies. Lucario writes jaw-dropping content like a professional marketer with zero copywriting experience. In just a couple of clicks using the AI technology, you can use one of the templates to get up and running in a couple of seconds. If you have any questions about Lucario, go ahead and drop your questions below. I tend to reply within a couple of minutes to a few hours and I'll also leave a special discounted link that I will keep updated so you always get the best discount and bonuses. Let's head over to my screen and start this Lacolio review. Here we are inside Lacolio's dashboard and the first thing that you may notice is that it can come a little bit overwhelming but do not worry because this is just the dashboard and once we get an understanding of how everything works it will make a lot more sense but ultimately the dashboard is snapshot information of every Everything else that's going on inside your portal area. On the left you have your main navigation where you manage everything and create new templates. At the top right you have your support feature, your notifications, account details and if you're not keen on the design you can toggle this button here which will change it to dark or light. Personally I like the darker look so we'll use the darker look in this video. I'd always recommend to start off with the introduction video which is just under three minutes in length which will show you how to get started. Also by clicking on the video training button we'll present four different videos each one with a specific task in mind. This one even guides you on how you can start earning with the platform in your first seven days and then it goes into more techie areas like workflow of automation, how to get better results out of the platform and using the long form editor. Each video is less than 10 minutes in length and is really quite insightful so definitely give that a watch before you start playing with the software. So we'll start off in the clients area. This acts as a little CRM area for you where you can list your clients by clicking add client and then you'll fill out all of the general information here. Filled out those fields, it will show the new client listed here. You can add content to their profiles, edit them just like this or delete. Now you might be wondering what add content means but we'll get to that shortly. It's to give you the most practical way of using this software and I don't want to overwhelm you with everything. If you click on the view content, you can see all all of the stuff that we've generated for this particular client. Moving on to the template section, this is categorized into multiple fields, but we'll go ahead and select the most popular one. So these are the most popular services that the platform recommend you offer to your client, but you can see they've actually got 164 templates that quite frankly is more than enough for services to add to all of your clients. They've even got a lot of new templates for newer social platforms like TikTok, but ultimately for any sort of physical or local style business, they have basically got a template for you, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and do a YouTube ads headline. Now you have two choices here. You can select one of your clients and it will pre-populate all of this information here, or you can enter something separate like a product name and leave this area unfilled. We're gonna go ahead and search for a client and we're going to do pizza place that automatically filled everything out. And on the right, you'll also notice that there's a video which will explain further about how to use a section. So convenience all the way is, is something that Localio has focused on. If you have not used the search client, you can also save this information as a client as well if you manually fill it out. Underneath it, you've got the add tone of voice and you can select from all of these tones. We're going to go ahead and do passionate. You can decide what language you want. As I only speak English, I'm just going to go with English. And you can decide if you want it to be formal or not formal. You can decide how many blocks you want it to generate, which is how many different spins of this text it will reproduce but we're going to go ahead and do generate AI and now you can see it's generated the three templates which we can either save flag it to say it's it's not good standard or delete it you can also duplicate it and then on the gear setting you can edit it further translate it or check for plagiarism with one liners like this the plagiarism check is never really recommended but we will go into plagiarism further in this video creating workflows is perhaps one of the most exciting bits of this software and is where I think the USP for Localio really is. Go ahead and click the create workflow, select which business you want to talk about. So we're going to go ahead and do pizza place and do next step. 
Now, because we've just selected our client, we don't need to manually fill anything because we've already done it. So it, so it automatically populates this field for us and you can add multiple descriptions if you decide. Go ahead and do next. Here's where the convenience really comes into play. You can select up to five templates for your client to generate text about. So if you're doing a Google package, you can do Google business profile description, Google ads headline, Google business profile event, um, Google business profile, what's new and offer post. Then if you scroll to the bottom, it would be nice to see a, a generate AI content button follow us around the screen, but scrolling to the bottom, click generate AI content. After one click, it's generated all of that for us, which can then be exported to Google Docs by clicking this button. By clicking on the workflow list, this will show you all the previous workflows that you've done in the past. Then you can open up the workflow of a previous one and see what's going on there. The smart AI assistant is basically a long form editor. It will store all the documents like this, which is where you can download, upload to your Google documents or preview. To add a new document, click add document. So under title, this is what it's going to be about. So let's say a pizza review and then go ahead and do template and search for the specific sort of template. I'm going to go ahead and do restaurant review generator template and I'm going to say best burgers in town, juicy, filled correctly, tasty and well priced. Okay. Then we're going to do a search for tone and I'm going to do cheerful, do select language. And again, I'm going to say English. And then for SEO purposes, I'm just going to do best burgers. Okay. And then you can click the button here to start generating the text, or you can on your keyboard, press Alt, Control and J or Alt, Command and J. You can see it generating text for us. And then it generated all of this. Like most editors, they've got their standard customization fields here where you can add links, hyperlink it, do it in bold, etc. We're going to do another example of the smart AI assistant. So I want something like what are the seven base dog commands and for the template, and I'm going to go ahead and do the VSL writer one, which is a video sales letter and it's meant to be an attention grabber. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this text here and then paste it in. We're going to change it to authoritative and we'll just leave everything as it is. Okay. So it's generated the first paragraph. Let's have a quick read. There are seven basic commands that every dog should know. Sit down, stay, come, heal, off and know. Sit and down are the basic commands that every dog should know. Stay is important for keeping a dog safe. Come is important for getting a dog back when it runs off. Heal is important for walking a dog on a leash. Off is important for getting a dog to stop jumping on people. And no is important for teaching a dog to bark or do other unwanted behaviors. That was actually a very good paragraph it just generated. So let's go ahead and check the plagiarism score in Grammarly. We're going to paste it in, go to plagiarism and it's a hundred percent original. So you've got no uh, penalization issues going on with Google there. So we're all happy. You can then decide to save it or export to Google Docs. Inside library is again another snapshot of what's been going on with all of your content. You can search for generated outputs. It tells you how many you've generated or saved etc. And then on the left you've also got the favorites which is where all of your favorite posts lie as well as flag content and you can cater it for your client as well. Under settings the only integration you can do at the moment is Google and Google Docs. And then if you have agency users inside your account, it will list everything they've been doing and their dashboard as well. In case you're wondering what sort of support they're offering, I do believe they are adding more templates to this. But at the moment, this is what the support looks like with general helpful articles. Overall, I was pretty impressed with Localio. I absolutely love the workflow tool. I think being able to categorize a bunch of templates in one go is a fantastic perk for digital agencies. I think the local marketing niche at the moment is absolutely booming, especially with video SEO and stuff like that. So it's a fantastic step in the door. And if used correctly, I reckon you could generate some serious money with this tool. You saw me check the plagiarism of the text and it said it was 100% unique, which was which is pretty good. You saw me run the text through a plagiarism checker, Grammarly's premium plagiarism checker, which is one of the best. And you saw it got 100% unique score, which is really good considering how well the paragraph actually read. Overall, for a brand new tool like Lucar, it's done a really good job of streamlining a lot of things. Would I recommend this? Yeah, I think I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.